Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Khalil Rowtree Jr. I'm here with the winner, Khalil Rowtree Jr. Khalil, obviously not the finish that you were looking for, and we'll get to that in a second. But when this fight started, you came out like a man possessed, swinging wild, crazy shots. Talk me through your, your mindset right then. Uh, my mindset today was just win. Win the fight, be ready to face all confrontation. I don't care, I'm not, I'm not hiding anymore. I'm, not I'm, I'm dealing with my fear head on. And I just came in here ready to get the job done. Got a solid team of coaches and uh, solid support. And uh, hey man, it was just, I just knew that I had to come in here and, and just get the job done. And, well, as I say, it wasn't the, the finish I'm sure you're looking for, but I just spoke to the UFC's Dr. Davidson, probably his ACL, MCL, and PCL all, all blown. Is that something that you worked on in training camp, something you saw a weakness, or you just decided to throw it? Talk me through your decision to throw that kick. So um, I, I didn't work it in training camp the, the way that I threw it, with the intent that I threw it today, uh, because I want to make sure that my training partners are safe. Um, but I did study that, and I did know that that was something that I wanted to do when the opportunity came. First round, I wanted to feel him out and just see what type of fight it was going to be. And I, I saw that when he would throw a jab, he was very heavy on the front foot. So my goal was to, to when I did want to throw that kick, is to throw it on his jab as a counter you know, at the same time, and that's what happened. Well, that makes it even more impressive. Congratulations, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Khalil Roundtree Jr.